Hey everyone, and welcome back to CTF Cookbook. This is printf leak, an essential pwn technique. Um, we're going to be exploiting printf quite a bit, uh, but to start with, uh, we're going to use printf to leak other values on the stack. Um, and to see what this looks like, I have an example program. So in this program, you get the flag if you can guess a random number. And so what the program is going to do is it's going to generate a random number and save it to key. Uh, then it's going to ask us for our name. It's going to say, hey, what is your name? It's going to do an f gets then it's going to do a printf on our name. And so this is where the vulnerability occurs. So in a printf, you're able to specify these formats. And so you can say something like, uh, my name is Stuart percent %i, or percent %d, let's say. And so normally when you call it like this, uh, you're supposed to put an integer here. So you know it would be like 3, for example. And so then printf would print out Stuart 3. Um, you can also pass strings, so you could be hello, and then this would be a percent %s. So we would pass Stuart percent %s, and it would say Stuart hello. Um, the vulnerability occurs is we don't actually, if we control this format string right here, um, even though we're not passing arguments, it'll still read the arguments off the stack, um, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so instead of sending name, we could send percent unsigned long, percent unsigned long, percent unsigned long, percent unsigned long, and this will just leak four values off of the stack. We don't know exactly which stack values they are, but it'll just leak stack values. And you know, we can just send a whole bunch of these, um, percent unsigned long. Um, so very pow powerful uh, leaking primitive. Um, like I said, we're going to use that to leak the key off the stack. Uh, the second part of the challenge, it says now guess the number. We're just going to take that value we leaked off the stack, uh, set it here, and as long as they match, uh, we get the flag. Um, so we can run the program real quick. Uh, let's run it. Chow. Um, first, what is our name? So like I said, we're just going to send a bunch of unsigned longs. Uh, these uh, modifiers, um, you can just Google for them. There's a whole bunch. But you know, there's integers, characters, hex, uh, pointers, strings. Um, we'll slowly introduce more as we do more of these uh, printf exploits. But right now, we're doing unsigned longs. And we're going to ask for five unsigned longs. And so then it says, welcome. And it says this is uh, supposed to be our name, but like I said, all of these got submitted or uh, substituted with values from the stack. So we have 1, 1, 82 million or something, 82 million, and 32 million. Now we enter a guess. We don't know what the answer is, so we'll just say 1, 3, 3, 7. And it says, oh, better luck next time the guess was 1, 4, 8. Um, so it looks like we're going to need more percent %Ls because the value that we wanted wasn't leaked. So maybe we'll do this, and we'll do, I think it was 5, but nope. Let me try again. Uh, we'll just do a whole bunch. Um, cool. The number was 206, and we can see that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the seventh value leaked by printf is the correct one. Cool. So let's run it again. Uh, let me clear. So we need seven of them. Oops. We'll do percent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oops, 6, 7. Cool. Now this should be the value that is the random key. We're just going to copy that over, print it. And impressive, we get the flag. Obviously, we like to do everything in a script. Um, so this is what a salt script would look like. Um, we're going to set the log level. Uh, I just clear it. We're going to do pwn process, start the process. We're going to, uh, after it asks us for our name, we're just going to send seven of those unsigned longs. Then we're going to wait till it says welcome. We're then going to receive that line, decode it, because it normally it's a Python bytes object, and we're going to convert it to a string. We're going to split it on spaces, and we're just going to ask for the very last one, and then we're going to do a strip. Uh, then uh, we're going to just print out the number, just because I'm curious to see what it looks like. And when it asks us for the number, we're going to send it and then start an interactive, and we should just get flag. Python 3, solve.py. Cool, and we get the flag. There's one other thing we can do to actually speed this up. Um, we're going to talk about these a lot more, but you can actually specify um, a positional argument within uh, a printf. So instead of typing out when we do percent these, so this is going to read the first argument, the second argument, the third argument, and so on. Um, we can actually specify what argument we want to use uh, using the dollar sign modifier. So we're going to do percent dollar sign seven unsigned long, and so this will actually just print out the seventh argument instead of having to specify seven of them. Um, so we can hit enter on that. This is the number and this. So we're going to be using these and printf exploits a, a lot more in the future. So if anything was a little bit confusing, don't worry. Uh, we'll be using them a lot. Um, cool. Thanks for watching.